So, hello guys. Uh, I am Clark K. Sinisa Andriquez from 1E1 BS Criminology and today I'm going to discuss my understanding in lesson 1 in introduction to criminology. So, let's start. In lesson 1, we talked about criminology and how it is started. As a criminology student, it is good for us that we have an introduction in the components of criminology for us to easily adopt and study the major subjects in criminology. We also tackled some brief history of criminology like study of criminology started in Europe in 19th century, Cesar Lombros advocated the theory that crime can be attributed to heredity predisposition. In addition, a criminal person by birth is distinct type. It can be recognized through his own personal stigma or anomalies. In latter part of 19th century, criminology was accepted as a field of study by the Department of Sociology in the U.S. In 1915, environmental factors became popular as the causes of crime. In Philippines, PCCR became the pioneer school which offered BS Criminology in 1950 and RA6506 and ACT creating the Board of Criminology in the Philippines in 1972. Republic Act 11131, other known as the Philippine Criminology Profession Act of 2018, repels RA6506 that created the Board Examiners for Criminologists in the country. And the origin of the word criminology. It originates from the word crimen, meaning crime, accusation, and logos, logia, which means study. In 1885, Rafael Gravalo, an Italian professor, coined the term criminology. In 1889, Paul Topinard, a French anthropologist, used the term criminology in French. Criminology for the first time. The definition of criminology. The study of crimes, criminals, and criminal behavior. The body of knowledge regarding crime as social phenomena, it includes within its scope the process of making laws, of breaking laws, and the reacting towards the breaking of laws by Edwin Sutherland. A scientific and humanistic study of the social process of identifying crimes, criminals, and compatible solution. It is by Manley and Herschel. There are some sciences or fields in the study of crimes. Sociological criminology. The study of crime focuses on the group of people and society as a whole. It is primarily based on the examination of the relationship of demographic and group variables to crime. Variables such as socioeconomic status, interpersonal relationships, age, race, Gender and cultural groups of people are probed in a relationship to environmental factors that are most conducive to criminal actions such as time, place, and circumstances surrounding the crime. Psychological Criminology It is the science of behavior and mental processes of criminals. It is focused on the individual criminal behavior, how it is acquired, evoked, maintained, and modified. Both the environment and personality processes are considered along with the that mediate the behavior. The behavior. Psychiatric criminology. It is the science that deals with the study of crime through forensic psychiatry. The study of criminal behavior in terms of motives and drives that strongly relies on the individual. Other subfields are perspective in criminology. Critical criminology. It deals with the genesis of crime and the nature of social injustice and inequalities. The study focuses on law and punishment where crime is viewed as interconnected and part of a system of social inequalities. Applied Criminology It uses a variety of disciplines to examine criminality and the criminal justice system and 
in the enforcement of laws directed towards influencing social policies. Experimental criminology. It relies on experimental methods of research. It focuses on random selection of social issues directed to evidence-based crime and justice policy. Comparative criminology. It deals with the study of crime problem by understanding the differences and similarities of social cultures in order to understand crimes or patterns and trends. Here are some important personalities in the study of criminology. Dr. Cesar Lombroso, the world famous authority in the field of criminology who advocated the facetivist theory that crime is essentially a social phenomenon and it cannot be treated and checked by the imposition of punishment. And that a criminal is just any person who is sick that he should be treated in the hospital for his possible rehabilitation and reformation. He is also the father of modern criminology. Dr. Charles Gorey, an English statistician who studied the case histories of 3,000 convicts and found the heredity is more influential as determiner of criminal behavior than environment. Alfonso Bertillon, the one who originated a system of classifying criminals according to the body measurements. For him, because the human skeleton is unchangeable after the 20th year and because no two individuals are alike in all dimensions, his method of identification received prominence in 1880s. Edwin H. Sutherland, an American authority in criminology who in his principle of criminology considers criminology at present as not a science but the hopes of becoming a science. He is also the Dean of Modern Criminology. George L. Wilker argued that criminology couldn't possibly become a science accordingly general propositions of universal validity are the essence science. Such propositions can be made only regarding stable and homogeneous units but varies one time to another. Therefore, Universal propositions cannot be made regarding crime and scientific studies of criminal behavior are impossible. Cesar Bissaria, known for his book An Essay of Crimes and Punishment, advocated an applied doctrine of penology that is to say make punishment less arbitrary and severe that all person who violated a specific law should receive identical punishment regardless of age, sanity, wealth, positions, or circumstance. W. A. Bonger, an emotional authority in criminology who classified crimes by motives of the offenders as economic crimes, sex sexual crimes, political crimes, and miscellaneous crimes with way vengeance as the principle of motives. Legal classification of crimes or also known as revised penal code. Crimes against national security and law of nations. Here are some examples of crimes against national security and the law of nations. Treason, espionage, and piracy. Crimes against the fundamental law of the state. Crimes against the fundamental law of the state, arbitrary detention and violation of domicile. Crimes against public order. Here are some examples of crimes against public order: rebellion, sedition, and cop that Crimes against public interest. Here are some examples of crimes. Crimes against public morals. Here are some examples of crimes against public morals. Gambling and betting offenses against decency and good customs like scandals, obscenity, and prostitution. Crimes committed by public officers. Here are some examples of crimes committed by public officers. The malfeasance and the misfeasance. Crimes against person. Here are some examples of crimes against person. Murder, rape, and physical injuries. In 
against properties. Here are some examples of crimes against properties. Robbery and theft. Crimes against personal liberty and security. Here are some examples of crimes against personal liberty and security. Illegal detention, kidnapping, trespass to dwelling, threat and coercion. Crimes against chastity. Here are some examples of crimes against chastity. Concovenage, adultery, seduction, abduction, and the act of lasciviousness. Crimes against civil status of persons. Here are some examples of crimes against civil status of persons. Bigamy and other illegal marriages. Crimes against honor. Here are some examples of crimes against honor. Libel and oral defamation. Quasi offenses or criminal negligence. Here are some examples of quasi offenses or criminal negligence. Imprudence and negligence. Lesson, we will learn what is criminal. Ano nga ba ang criminal? If it is a person who has committed a court, it is a person who violated a social or one who did a social act. Also, a person who violated the rules of the due to behavioral malad. Adjustment or mal adjustment. In this lesson, we also have criminological classifications of criminal based on etiology. Acute criminal, it is one who violates a criminal law because of the impulse or fit of passion. They also commit passionate crimes. Chronic criminal. It is one who commits crimes acted in consonance of deliberated thinking. They plan the crime ahead of time. They are the targeted offenders. Based on behavioral system. Based on behavioral system, ordinary criminal, it is considered the lowest form of criminal in a criminal career does not stick to crime as a profession but rather push to commit crimes due to great opportunity. Organized criminal. It is one who associates himself with another criminals to earn a high degree of organization to enable them to commit crimes easily without being detected by authorities. Professional criminal. It is a person who is engaged in criminal activities with high degree. Based on activities, professional criminals are those who practice crime as a profession for a living. Criminal activity is constant in order to earn skill and develop ability in, in their commission. Accidental criminals are those who commit crimes when the situation is conducive to its commission. Habitual crimes are those who continue to commit crime because of deficiency of intelligence and lack of self-control. Based on mental attitudes, active criminals are those who commit crimes due to aggressiveness. Passive, passive inadequate criminals are those who commit crimes because they are pushed to it by reward or promise. Based on legal classification, habitual delinquent, it is a person who within a period of 10 years from the date of his release or last conviction of the crimes of serious or less serious physical injuries, robbery, staffa, or falsification is found guilty of any of the said crimes or a third time offenders recidivist. It is also one who at the time of his trial for one crime shall have been previously convicted by final judgment of another crime embraced on the same title of the revised penal code. As we will also learn about the victims. Victimology it is simply the study of victims of crimes and contributory role, if any, in a crime position. It is also the scientific process of gaining substantial amounts of 
knowledge on offender characteristics by studying the nature of victims. And as we study and finish the lesson 1, you will notice that there are reasons why criminals became criminals. And also we will have some introduction. We, we have introduction in RPC, our revised penal code. That's all.